Oh, Gus. <laughs> that was Hello. Weak. <laughs> I mean, I expect this from Steph because she definitely wasn't paying attention when we had that conversation. <laughs> but you, you set this whole thing up. <clears throat> I said, let's all say hello. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, a Back Pocket live react to the Sony State of Play, uh, which will be starting in just a couple of minutes. Before we get started on that, Lady Gaga offers $500,000 reward after her dogs were stolen and her dog walker was shot. Interesting. Uh, a gunman made off with two of Lady Gaga's French bulldogs, Koji and Gustav, after shooting her dog water in Hollywood on Wednesday night. The singer is offering a $500,000 reward for the return of the dogs. The dog walker is expected to make a full recovery. First question. Go. Two of her French bulldogs. Yeah. Implying oh, there's many. more? Yeah. So replaceable is what we're saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, yeah. presum presumably this is a ransom situation. You, you would think so. Um, a, a, but like a ransom situation that feels like it's a movie from the 80s with Danny DeVito and Bette Midler. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's making away with my dogs. <laughs> like, <laughs> some electric Bette, guitar as they run down. Bette Midler's a villain in this for you, running away with Danny DeVito's dogs. <laughs> yes, very much. My legs are too short to keep up. What sure film is that? Our stunt for uh, the new Cruella film. Oh, that like, could be good. Uh, yeah, some viral marketing. <clears throat> what is that movie? What is uh, it's Ruthless People? Is that the name of the film? What a great movie! I'm Gus. I'm putting that on the list. I've never heard of it. Oh, it's so good. Then it's, it's so perfect. Good. We have a yeah. list. Like, we have a yeah, list. A yeah. list. That, we have an unreachable list. Like <laughs> it's so many <laughs> movies on that, and we barely have the time. I'm like, hey, what if we watched one Godzilla film? We're like, great idea. And then no, <laughs> like, no, nah, we won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it eventually. We'll get there. Eventually. Uh, Pete, show the people your lovely uh, jumper, which I was a big fan oh, of. Oh, I thought you were about to say something very different. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the party slide again. I'm like, don't you do it. It's too early for that. <laughs> Look at that. So, Steph bought this jumper. Uh, it's a Christmassy PlayStation jumper. She bought it for herself, well, <laughs> but it was way too big for herself. Uh, and it's maybe a little bit too small for me. But as I said no, earlier, good. if I'm ever going to wear it, Now's I don't think it's too for you. No, I, no, I, it you. I didn't think it fits you just uh, just snug and, and warm and lovely. Yeah, it's fitted. It's nice. It's nice. We literally have this you screen look like set up. You're about to curl up by a fire in a ski lodge with some chocolate, <laughs> hot chocolate with marshmallows. Is it too early for wine? Is it too yeah. early for a glass of wine? <laughs> Never, people. Never. <laughs> you know, it literally has this, this stream is set up with the summer on the left and the winter on the right. Because right now it is yeah, totally. blue skies. There's a palm mm. tree outside my window yeah, and it's starting to get hot. Or yeah, it's quite cool and, up here still. I'm getting a beach breeze <laughs> through my window here. Uh, and I'm dressed appropriate for the occasion as well, because my prediction for this is we're going to get a special performance from Miss Celine Dion. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> Where do you get this stuff? Oh, fuck. Yes. Yeah. That's so fucking much. good. I mean, yeah. that's Hello, actually everybody. The, like, Welcome I, to PlayStation. <laughs> I like all your other <laughs> shirts, things. but for some reason, that one I'm actually jealous of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this this shirt Very fucking cool. slaps. And it's there's not like a part of it is how lazy the design is. That's a yeah. 90s. <laughs> I went to a Celine Dion concert shirt. Yeah. This is just the three howling wolves of, of musical <laughs> shit. Well, the, 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 <laughs> hilar the hilarious thing is that. that if you if you went to a Celine Dion concert in the 90s in Vegas, this shirt would cost you $80. Yeah. And then everything between now and then, this shirt would have been $2 in an op shop. And then I bought it last week for $80. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> well, That's so funny. We're at a point now where it's like retro like trash has now become expensive again. Well, the 90s, 90s style is very much, like 90s streetwear is very much back, which is why all my shirts are three sizes too big. They're selling Friends merch in like H&M. Uh, oh, that's H &M. perfect. Amazing. Cotton yeah. on and stuff. I've always wanted a, um, the classic Smashing Pumpkins shirt is, it just says zero on it. And it's like the most like, uh, like grunge punk yeah, like good. tea in the world, but like you can't get one that actually looks like it's from the era. They all look so shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm um, um, speaking of things we're wearing. I'm hoping to be surprised this morning because I'm wearing the shorts I no nearly pants sh at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm wearing the shorts I nearly shotted. <laughs> Yay! Aww, so I'm hoping for a circle. <laughs> I'm hoping Very for nice. a big Wonderful. PlayStation announcement that makes me go. Ah. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up the yeah, um, the good. show timer because there's 50 seconds left, and we'll just yeah, make good. sure everyone can hear it okay, and the level's not too crazy for anyone. Sounds phenomenal. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> I mean, it's hard to tell because there's no voices, but if, as long as that's sitting well for the audience. Um, Gus, if you, if, what would make you shit yourself? Um, it's a little loud. I'll bring it down a bit because I reckon it's going to get louder. The people um, saying it's good. The launching of a Death Stranding universe. <laughs> so I'm talking movies, yes. TV series, <laughs> yeah. sequels. Avatar oh my God. style sequels. A we movie, got a podcast. A movie Pod- of Sam Porter Bridges just like hiking yes. across America with packages on his back. <laughs> yeah. Oh my I God. I can't yeah. think of anything worse. It's starting in six universe. seconds. This is so exciting. I always this love watching these things. It's like the joy of being a kid again. Yes. Yeah, People have are someone saying it's a smidge loud. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I've been writing it. I hope it's just trailers and not <laughs> someone going like, hi. Oh. Will awesome. It will definitely Hi. be someone going like, and now, some more very than ever, developments in your we need future. to come together as Shocking a Shocking events that will change the course of your life! Right Stephanie, it's fucking happening. <laughs> that last part might have been <laughs> a hair dramatic. No, she's going with the bit! Awesome updates and additions. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience on PlayStation 5. Yeah! <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Lucy. This is coming out on Creative Switch soon. Choice I know it won't look anywhere near as pretty. A feature rundown on Crash Bandicoot 4. On it actually looks pretty good. good. Like, I played it on the PS4 and it looks like it's worth audio playing on a console. And more. That's what I mean. Yeah. Let's make this fun. Not calling it a Switch a console. Picking up where Crash Bandicoot uh, no, 4 the Switch is an Android phone. Crash Bandicoot 4 is about time. <laughs> we find the evil mastermind Game levels is more Steph monotone bit. Less boring cartoon game. thought inescapable interdimensional giant holes in the universe. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. PlayStation loves to... I mean, I don't know what you, else you would launch with. with They love to launch with a game environments and characters. that is already being played. Crash Bandicoot is always <laughs> yeah, like pretty when they launch with uh, <laughs> yeah, GTA 5. It's like, it's like native 4K oh, okay. at 60 Oh, that's definitely coming in this one. <laughs> this is the my the cereal universe milk. on your shoulders, Lublin. <laughs> Probably some errands to run. There's little time to wait on loading screens. The dual sense wireless controllers yet. bring adaptive oh, triggers to your face. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's better than the Neocortex's it's DNA changing ray gun. Or feel the grip when you grapple a ton as hookshot. God damn, this is successful bust. Feel the boost and, <laughs> know, right? and really feel the suck when you vacuum. All these things are still like. Looking to get they are delivered with the, the caveat Crash that, universe, but you don't own a PlayStation a 5, button, so take your audio into 12 months from now, this is going to be really exciting. 3D audio. This is on PS4. Yeah, but this is their, and they're, 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 they're saying the PS5 version is going to be 4K 60 frames. So. Bandicoot is what this trailer is. But should yeah. our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way? Leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress. Oh, that's good. your goals for things like time How good is a new UI? I wish I had more play in it because I'm like, I want to use the UI more than the, the game. <laughs> I, I think that, that stuff, I, I, I used a bit of that. Four, sort of and use the activity cards to get to 106%. Oh, and one more yeah, thing. Yeah. If you own the PS4 version planet, of the game, really an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation uh, It's just like, details. find this missing one piece. Whether it's your first playthrough or your hundred, right. not like there's getting no lost better level. time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time on PlayStation 5. Well, this is the only time you can experience it. We've never been able to experience it before. March 12th. Welcome soon. back, Crash. The gang's all here today. on today's new edition of State of Play. You... We've got some great updates lined up for you. I like this voice. She didn't say hi. First, let's check out the latest on an well, eagerly anticipated mm, game mm, coming to PS5 console yes. this spring from PlayStation Studios. Hey, everyone. Like we at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. In Returnal, you will play as Celine, an Astra Scout. Oh my god. Lands on an Just alien she's on your shirt. <laughs> After receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Players will explore this inscrutable so dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. Dashing and Everything is just alien. Your way is it gonna, I was going to say, is this secretly going to be survive. like revealed to be part of the alien universe? Like Wait, big... this is the gameplay of it? I thought it was yeah. like a slow plotting, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. first dead person. space. No, it's a roguelike, yeah. isn't it? Is it? I think it's, um, I think That's what we should be thinking is. of it as like a pretty, uh, uh, a large variety of enemies. Rain? Heavy? No more rain? Rain something? Heavy possess. rain. No. Combat situations the, um, oh, no, risk of rain. Risk of rain. Yeah. Death. Yeah, right. I don't think I've ever actually seen the gameplay. I'm just been assuming it was super 
Cody Dorian. Someone said it's actually Cloverfield. Picky me. Every says, time you die and restart, JJ the world out will the end it goes. The map will be different. Enemies will appear in new locations okay. and in yeah. differing numbers. So you have to think fast and adapt. Imagine Groundhog Day in the Prometheus Here universe. Here you can see the use Every of the morning waking up before you go to a horrifying planet. Yeah. This is one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. It looks lovely. It's an, it's an interesting like you haven't really seen roguelike stuff with this kind of like Polish? graphics yeah. gameplay. Yep. You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. I wonder how varied the environments will get. Consumables and upgrades, and they can completely change your They've all been pretty geigery. Yeah. Feel unique. Oh, oh God! Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Celine as they venture deeper and <laughs> deeper into her and into her personal nightmare. I love the That's... we allow players to that can't be piece here. together the narrative because we can be that I am reliving my <laughs> that host, but You're right. No oh what? That's crazy. They're corroded. Some it must be possibly like listed with story areas maybe well, i think that's what we're looking at this yeah, house yeah. doesn't fit in this world what is that micro is that in the i think it's in the game right okay no safe space it's like a signal that she's kind of tearing yeah, through realities because right. her radio is not working i think this is this is super cool if this is like Something. this is pt exactly story reveal yeah and that's if there's, else. If there's actually story listed throughout those like Areas that you're actually fighting with. Returnal none of that. None of that in the final 30th. game. Thank you. No. <laughs> Developed by the talented team. It just sounds like a tech issue. Yeah, that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna fuck with a lot of streamers. Next, let's take a closer look at a high impact. <laughs> no, it's not still happening. Oh, it's Steph's mic. It? Is it? Hello. What? Yeah, it's your mic, Steph, in Discord. I don't know what's happening in. Ah, oh, okay. Hi, I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball so battles. Mario Kart thing. Knockout City really? is easy to pick up yeah. and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you really know who head the head devs are in a Mario Kart. Just know yeah, totally. Uh, and almost to any Nintendo game, really. Yeah, good point. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, How's making it easier to land a hit. Like, wow, like, you thought about making another game, like, Use no, trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in I mean, the fight. fun, but it's hard to make Keep a, your wits a about you and outplay your opponent to break home a win. Mechanics and rules. It gets picked up by everyone and has a decent player base. Yeah. Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. I, yeah, yeah, I do think the floor of these sort of things is the idea like of like... City. If Even if it's match, a relatively simple, team can still dominate. the idea that if multi We're it's kind of back alley brawl, multiplayer is the game and there are rules that you need to get involved with as opposed to just like... Sniper ball, which uh, Rocket League is about as complicated as I feel like you can get with this stuff. You can take them out before yeah. they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. Or even just start with the most... alley brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Yeah, let people get really hooked on that. Caught well, like actual dodgeball, You can literally right? beat the ball, the rules. a new weapon for your teammate. Yeah. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with a weird one that I saw throw, and go land in a ago, huge instant probably out by now where it's like kids with bubblegum and baseball bats. And it's like... Blew up the bubble the team here at Valorant has been obsessed with Children's World, world over the last like four years. Something. And it had Knockout the biggest City is coming out May 21st, and, and we'd seen love your help yeah, in right. final stretch of development. <laughs> Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on the PlayStation. See you soon, brawlers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh my god, yes. So they had like one of the biggest booths. Yeah, And I didn't know what that thing was. They had dancers and everything. Okay, well, we'll check this out. Crossplay beta. That's yeah, something. Time for a something dodgeball new. game. Here's your first look at an upcoming PS5 game from the team yes. of Slow Clap. Goes by Tokyo? No. Slow Clap made an Absolver. Oh my god, oh. it's like, um... 
They supported that game like crazy when they did it. I like the look. I yeah. love the art style. Yeah. Yes, it's oh my god. The anim like the animation looks really cool as well. It's just the daredevil hallway fight it scene. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so Absolver is like completely a sort of martial arts game. So it looks like, but it was all done in a weird Ooh, sort of... what? You get older? Tell me you turn into an old man. That would be... <laughs> I love the art this style. Stay. Me too. It's got that washy, painterly quality, like it. Ah, ah, ah! Yes, he's getting old. There's reds in those voice. Oh, look, he's getting old. older. Angry he is. He's it's the opposite angry. of Returnal. Benjamin Button. Sifu. Great. It's the opposite Hell of yeah. Benjamin Button, which is that reality, is which is life. <laughs> Why are we getting so excited about a man aging? Is. Why does he get older? Now let's get an update on Solar Axe, Sifu. an epic new PS5 and adventure from Heart Machine. And coming this year Heart as well. Yeah. Sick. Because Absolver good. had all the martial arts stuff, but it was like in a Dark Souls wannabe fantasy world, so it was sort of like all masks and stuff. That just yeah, looks yeah, cool, yeah. like fighting a nightclub and just Love being it. like... My prediction, this is all stuff coming out this year, except for one thing at the end. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director Hi, Alex. of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team. We love Hyper red Electric. grass in video Today, games. Today, I'm here to show mm. you yeah, the first peek at immediately so alien crazy. title. Yes, on other planet straight away. Yeah. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish, really three platform. Design a blade of grass speed, that looks alien. Movement and fluidity. make it green. Come on. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across you the world. In a black hole, that sucks exclusively on the indie clouds, developers into it. <laughs> in our huge world. That's cool. That's uh, a looks like that game that you were yeah. playing about yeah. yeah. movement. Yeah. Arthless, and Ray has yeah. everything she needs to flow through the dangerous Arthless and mixed with um world. What was that great one with the girl Gravity Rush? The girl yep. the, the, Oh yeah. Oh, I love those yeah, games. Yeah, Gravity Rush on the one Vita. And two. Yeah, oh, it's so, so good. good. And Pete, what were you? Vita? As you what were you and I playing? Planet, oh god, you find I yourself love face to face. face. What were you and I playing? Violent um, the sword Our one. System is yep, simple I know what you're thinking, and I can't yeah. remember. Built to empower players and encourage play. <gasps> you don't need a Vita, Nick. You've been just as you explore the ultra. You made your own Vita. It's true. But, uh, it's so. Oh, 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 Let's talk about that for an hour next week. Some of these creatures require speed. But I would definitely take a new Vita that does remote play. Um. That There's would no be way. so good. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. But what if? Just allow me to remote play over, over four or five G. That's the only thing Ray that sucks. Isn't that what the X Cloud this boy can do? Wretched, starved out. beasts yep. that hold yep. the key to her quest. This is what's inside black holes. So I like I like the look of this, but I'm also like I feel like I've seen this in so many games. Yeah. Like this feels it's, like a lot of video games to me. This kind of game just doesn't. Do Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure it's platformer, like, the giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow yeah. of combat, and the high stakes like battles atop that scene enormous yet. beasts. They have look, there all it is. come together to bring players something we think is incredibly Shout unique, the and more importantly, fun. I mean, kind of looks like that's fun. what this game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine yeah. team. <clears> does feel like they are always Solar awful. Ash to PS5 it's, and PS4. Like no idea is a bad idea here. It doesn't look like there's much more to it, but it, it does look beautiful. Scary games, I think it'll be fun to you. run a big 4K TV. Uh oh, scary games. Get your sharp pants on. I'm a fan of scary games now. Oh no, this you is like Freddy. Yeah, it's ticking away Freddy's way. Yeah. Pathetic. I wonder if they're gonna build an actual game around it yet. One more. Why are you making enough money? Yeah. Maybe Pokemon game. Oh, your mic's down the thing. It's just... Oh my god, look at this fucking thing. Oh wow, it is, but it is actually. I think we've seen this, right? Oh my god. It's before the fall. I the mean, okay, it's, it's a battle royale. It's a battle royale. It's a music battle royale. Glam rock, Freddy. We can get you yeah. out of here. 
You and me together. At least it looks like they use an actual game engine for this one. They won't yeah, stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Have they ever done free roam in Freddy's? Like this? I don't believe so. At least this year. You out by morning. You should have been the second version of the game. Bob totally. You Kid. will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, then you Like, this will is the proper version of it, but we have the what looks like a moon based version of this. Where it's like. It definitely loses some of its creepiness by not being just cheap jump scares. Like, those things look ridiculous running. Yeah. They also look like, as I said, the, like, space glam rock versions of them, whereas the creepy the versions were just the Chuck E. Cheese ones. The first mm. ones. There's more going on here than we realised. No, there's fucking not. <laughs> Go <laughs> away. Such a hit with kids. Like, why are kids so that good? was a chilling new look at it's Five it's Nights at Freddy's Security I think it's pretty, Beach. It's pretty easy to get into. It's not so scary. Up next, let's um, take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. They're not fucking about. They're powering through. They are. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Like, we haven't seen Habits. a human. Hey, you doing, Lauren? Today, I'm take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? Remember this was, there was a in trailer Soulstorm, on a train. You reprised the role of a scene. accidental yeah, hero turned unlikely show. leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. Okay, Gluckens. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to bring me. this world to life with what we call 2.9 no, platforming. Me. Which adds much more you. depth Jesus. and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use well, of the dual senses like haptic point. feedback, <laughs> as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. I love Abe's Odyssey. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokans that you must try to save along the way. Adult. But they are far That's more cool. than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And yeah, there will be times like when the extra hands, hands will be like, needed mm, as you face off against an array of heavily armed alive enemies. It's not really a mechanic, nothing to find even when you an add Abe once to it, and for is as all. Fun as it was. Yeah, it just, it, I think it always feels old. That's like, in order feels to like stand old game against this much larger threat, we gave Abe Where's the ability the to scavenge, young. loot, and pickpocket items mm -hmm. from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This His mystical voice. power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them, or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience, <laughs> and stuff. Oh, that's You'll find funny dark though. and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. It's great world building. Here, we've built lots combined. of opportunities for you to Needed test your skills and games. find different ways to handle some. things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient <laughs> traps, trials against swarming dark creatures. There was that first person one on Xbox that people dodged, loved. Crossed, yeah, like you were a bounty avoided. hunter using like yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's one of and hope, stuff. Freedom. Like, yeah, they to keep going down that path. There's a rich and engaging narrative to discover um, in a world full of oh, lies. Oh. And we've that's been right. able to bring our characters to life. Uh, like read a rumor before. on Reddit. In true odd world last fashion, night your actions that, um, in game can decide Bridges the fate of Abe and all those you managed to the end of this as either way. available and we now can't wait or to see what um, you free will do. with PS Plus for March. What was that game again? The little girl and the forest. they announced it in the forest and little creatures. Um, they announced it when they revealed the PS5. It was like a really beautiful looking game. I don't, know with his eyes. I don't know, but I like it. That was the latest on Oddworld Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost. PS5 version for no extra cost, starting in April. That was uh, string buffering, I think. Moving on.
It's time to catch Kena. up with Kina Bridge of Spirits. Kena? A gorgeous Kena. new adventure we last saw in the Team PS5 huh? showcase. I've been calling her Crandall. <laughs> <laughs> John. It, it would be Kenna here in Australia. Yeah. Kenna would require two ends. Thank you. That's true, Stephanie. That's true. God, that's that right. Thing. This one was so bloody Pixar, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was yeah. it was built for Pebble. It's actually, and I know this sounds really finicky, it's so Disney animated studios. Like it's not Pixar. Yeah. Like it's that thing that Disney's animation Brutal. studio do, which that's is like <laughs> I'm harsh in the morning, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hold back when it comes to animation. <laughs> oh gosh, it's beautiful. Right. I'm quite fond of you. Wanna jump I'm on that rock? Usually rough. timid. Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Cute! Spirit, hmm. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. This looks like that new animated one that's our like kind of follow up to the Moana. Oh, uh, uh, but that power. The one that's. Last dragon? Yeah. About this oh, game, in terms of how the side of this being very pretty. No, but I didn't know it was that level of combat. Yeah, same. I felt like there's gonna be much. Uh, like similar. sort of wander around, yeah, yeah, and just sort of direct the little animals. Tangled in the tragedies of our past. You must help these spirits to reach the light. Well, that's cool. So it looks like it's kind of. Restore the forest. Restore areas back into their natural. Yeah, this combat is cool. Mm. Yeah, it looks like Zelda. -y. Oh, totally. when you go to shoot, it goes into cinematic mode. <laughs> Maybe you gotta keep those little uh, little guys alive. Oh, this looks amazing. This looks so good, man. Oh my god, I'm so much more into this. I was not into this game other than the fact that it looked pretty before. Yeah. Uh, available now. Available now. Available now. Available now. She turns into a fox. If it was available now, they would have put it in the entrance. Oh, oh. What the? So this is what she's turning into? No, that's a bad thing. Bad thing. <laughs> Almost like a These are like reasonably shoot, tough. Shoot the glowy bits. Shoot the glowy bits. Oh, go. Looks like all the combat is exclusively As like arena based. Guide is the only one. Like just what that all looks like on the PS4. 2024. August 24. No, that's ages away. Now let's that's settle like now, in for Nick. a stylish new look at Death Loop, a PS5 first person shooter <gasps> developed by the Angus? team Arcane. Death loop? Released this year? Uh, <laughs> what? You'll uh, never ever break imagine. this loop. There's no never. Was it your first loop? Just pick? you. No, no, no. And the rest of the Breath of the Wild is already the wild. Oh, that's right. Bring it, baby. It was this must have been second. This wouldn't have made it from the third round. This is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. I want this to be good. I'm like, I, yeah. I, this is so my kind of game. If it's good, this is such a me game. Yeah. I like the mechanic of um, a radio commentator, like the Warriors style, talking to you while you're doing it. Static delusion. This is where we do or die. Ooh. <laughs> it's got a James Bond theme song. 60s Bond, yeah. yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Alright. <laughs> He's a man <laughs> in a loop of death. That's so good. Saga's awesome! You'd be an idiot if you didn't pick this game. <laughs> Coming 2026. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> it. Oh, 
reaction just right here. That explains. The version on your phone. That explains. The bullet's in your head. Pretty, uh, summoned. Oh, what? You know who's singing this song? Huh? Delane. Somebody's killing fights. Oh shit! Oh crap! <laughs> 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 so they make good trailers. Also, like more trailers using an original song, please. That's great. Yeah, they've learned from Hearthstone. Pikmi said, "I like how this gen is looking much more colorful and playful." I agree. Mm. What the hell? Where you been hiding? I just love the design of everything oh, yeah, here. Yes, I did that swinging 60s kind of vibe. But Let's do it again it. tomorrow. Let's do it again tomorrow. Gus, you gotta play the sexy brutale. It's like the top-down isometric puzzle version of this I remember game. that one, yeah. It's so good. Oh my god. Everyone needs to play that. Songs this could be the version of Hitman that I love. Frank. Yep. The rest of you motherfuckers are next! Language. So good. What a trailer. Yeah, it's a very good trailer. <laughs> nice. Great tagline. Coming when? Before we leave, it has a, it has a release date. A huge yeah. update for one of 2020's most celebrated games. GTA 5. <laughs> no. Final Fantasy. Twenty first of May. Gus. Say again. Twenty first of May. That gives me a buffer when it gets delayed. Uh, oh. <laughs> Help me. Uh, this is good because I um I played about an hour of this, but I'm not actually on, playing it properly. It was only like seven or now it's my turn. Yes, sir. I thought it was longer than that. I thought it was like thirty. Well, whatever it was, it was only like the first. It's part one. Totally, yeah, it's still part one. People have been really concerned that they're not actually going to keep going with it. They have to now. This was insanely successful. Yeah, 35 to 40 hours. Girl finally this sold to Midgar. huge. Incredibly maybe, amazing. Yeah, maybe I'm mixing up that it's just like the first five hours of the next game. But that's, yeah. My name is Kiki. Kiki. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wu-Tai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wu-Tai is not to be trifled God, stop with. moving the fuck. Members of <laughs> <laughs> That's too early for this. Back. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Someone's been expecting you. Like what took you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. If you can't see her. Yeah. I'm on Kusakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, Did anyone in the chat of course he will. say, is this They're something the from the original the game, reactors. or is this DLC yeah. now for that part Should we say hi? Like, are these new characters, uh, etc. Better not. After what they've done, you got to assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, it feels like it's new content. <laughs> yeah. Stop! No one, no one here we played this, did they? The remake. No. 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 The combat's great. Look at this character! <laughs> this all looks like, like, yeah. I'm gonna stream this game. Check your bomb against F, see if it works. No freaking way! Oh, it's nearly over as well, we've only got a couple more minutes. So this is the second last thing, I assume. I should probably get this is technically the thing that's technical anything that they potentially be doing in E3. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've done a few of these, they just they haven't do. done one in a while. Not your sister. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll see in other state of play probably in these June. Jerks. No yeah. July. It just appeared. Maybe August, so kind of August is what's going on. Now, let the hunt begin. That hair. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Get down here, bro. It's Return of the King. This trailer's ended 12 times. <laughs> I mean, that's JRPG. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god, totally. it's the character from the it's other the one. the same character. He's back. But he's got a PlayStation 5 graphic. Oh, it is impossible. To oh, good. That. Okay, good. Because it is just a PS4. I'm just playing the PS4 version. Yeah, right. yeah nice. Yeah, cool. 
neat, the terrible thing about me putting this off is going like, well, I never played the original, so maybe I'll play, <laughs> play yeah. the original. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play it with me, Gus. Play it with me. Play it with yep. me, Angus. All right, backseat game me. Oh, wow, they're showing side by side. Textures. Volumetric lighting. This isn't what I want in the state of play, by the way, though. <laughs> like, I get it. Just say you've got a PS5 version coming. More dynamic camera More fog in elements. Cutscenes. More fog, yeah. <laughs> More dancing. Wow. I, I, I hope that this would be now, not... Yeah, like, point. with the release of the... Is that him dressed as a woman? Lighting. It's weird yeah, as well, because last time. It I love actually, seeing side by sides. This is so exciting. But it doesn't actually look that much better. <laughs> no, you're it right. It doesn't. I don't think they've like done anything to the, the models really. But lighting, more fog. lighting does so much work. More fog. fog. I about the fog. <laughs> <laughs> more the quality light. of life. <laughs> Graphics optimization mode. Make one that looks good, like I know. I, I know. I was surprised the mode stuck around for the next gen. I was like, oh. I thought next gen was supposed to combine That's those freaking things. Mm. Quick if they didn't put a sneak little Ooh, photo mode. Oh, people are gonna go nuts for that. Yeah, I that. Yeah, I know. Look at those filters. Right, so this is the Your new favorite character, Yuffie. <laughs> Yuffie. <laughs> good, good. Instructions on how to cosplay is Yuffie, now available. You see that? <laughs> That's how ninja fuck off. Yuffie's perky and a woman. <laughs> Integrate. Integrate. Oh, God. Oh. Wow. Do you think those words are just like their direct tra translations or are they just picking random English words that they just like? Yeah, the they same. just they just throw a dart at a dictionary. Her, do you remember there was one called like like Revengeance. that? King, the Kingdom Hearts Revengeance oh, yeah, yeah. and Kingdom Hearts Coming like the 358 days this year. over two. Yeah. <laughs> and that's our show. We hope you're what? as excited as we are for what's to come in 2021. <laughs> See you next time. That's what I expect from a PlayStation State of Play. Oh, come on. Oh, finished that was on a fog? weak ending. Oh, you finished, finished on, on fog. fog. Yeah. You didn't even start on fog and end on new character. That was like, they didn't even, they didn't even, yeah, they didn't even uh, finish on an announcement. That was like a game that everyone was already like aware of. Crash, Abe's. And Final Fantasy. It's like all I can remember thinking back. Like Crash Aves, Final Fantasy, uh that Kena, Kena, Bridge of Spirits, the Returnal. <laughs> um The only Kena, new thing was that was uh, Yiffy, right? Yiffy Sifu. Sifu Sifu. 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 Oh, yeah. Sifu means like master, I think. Yeah, right. Like like master teacher. That's actually Man the ages. Of it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks sick, yeah. But like, that looks a, really cool, and Kena looks really cool. Kena looked cool. Ke I'm glad that Ke there's more to Kena than... I was worried it was going to be a little bit like just wander around in a really nice environment with these really cute characters and kind of like light puzzle elements, but that looked legit yeah. like Zelda meets totally. Horizon or something. It, it, Kena gets me really excited for what next-gen cinematic games are going to look like because like the capacity for like that kind of direction and art direction is just like so exciting for next-gen. Yeah. Though yeah. I would have watched just ten loops of the Death Loop trailer, yeah, and I would have yeah. been happy with that. I'm gonna go back and yeah, I, through I that still... Death Loop trailer because it's like it's got a lot. That was quite long, and it had yeah. like three different stages to showing mm. off it being like uh, a slower, methodical stealth game, and then it suddenly ramped up at the end. It was like, oh, it's kind of like here's what the multiplayer looks like. It was just totally going nuts. Yeah, well, I think like when you say let's see what the multiplayer looks like, I think that's the game is a two player like competitive thing yeah it's 1v1 so uh, like i've been pretty skeptical about it it sounds like the coolest idea in the world and my skepticism is that it won't work and be very fun yeah um it was nice to see some gameplay it just looks like dishonored uh which i didn't lot, love it? um 
but I know plenty of people do love it. So if it plays like Dishonored, that's going to be really good for people who love Dishonored. Um, it's going to be interesting with that because um, <clears throat> so it's kind of doing a bit of a Hitman thing, right? Where you go like you do the same thing over and over and you like min max your run on it. But yeah. um, the thing with Hitman is that everyone is on a very like they can be intricate, but they're on this loop and it's fine because everyone is just walking around like yeah. no one's running in Hitman. No one's doing yeah. weird things. Um, uh, whereas in that, it's going to be interesting to see like, is your run going to get screwed up because someone is in a different, like some guy came at you in a different direction and if you're that trying to come at you before. If you're trying to sneak around, which I don't think you are, Hitman style, no AI ever strafes. <laughs> That's the dead. <laughs> yeah. What's going on with that guy? It's like. <laughs> I think that we're, I feel like we're in for a year of, because I, I was away when you guys talked about the Nintendo Direct, but I, I watched that and I was like disappointed with that as well. Um, I feel like we're in for a year of disappointing <laughs> streams from companies about totally. their game reveals because just like everyone's game is like, we can't put this out now. We're not well, yeah, ready. Last, yeah. Yeah. last year was the year of having to say we're delaying things and this will be the year of the like repercussions of that, which will be like, yeah, we needed this year to, to work on it. 2022 is going to be when we can actually start dropping uh, all those games we still needed all that extended work time on. So Yeah. Which I guess doesn't really matter because <clears throat> no one has the consoles to play them on anyway. So <laughs> Yeah. Good point. I'm a bit nervous that we didn't get any Horizon news. That was on my uh, fantasy football thing. That's oh, definitely is coming out this year. Oh, I so don't think it is. I reckon it's going to get delayed. Yeah. Damn. Ragnarok. I don't reckon. We won't see Ragnarok. We might see that, but it would be like December. Like I just reckon. Holiday release. Yeah, I think with, with, I mean, we haven't seen anything for Ragnarok and we've only seen the one trailer for Horizon. We don't know anything else about it. And I feel like that. That kind of game feels like not the kind of thing that they go, oh, and it's coming out in five months' time. I feel like they, they want a long tease cycle on that and we haven't heard anything else. So, yeah. I'm surprised because like, yeah. it's a sequel. And I <laughs> like I thought that first trailer had a fair bit of gameplay in it. Like it felt like it was kind of in engine. Yeah, so but open, assumed- open world stuff, it's just like they can show you one part of it and it's like, you know, that could be like 40% of the game that's completed, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, I don't know. I really thought it was going to come out this year, but now I just don't know what to believe. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's a lie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fantasy and lists I, up so we can all just double check them. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right, Nick. There's like, there's not a lot. I can't imagine who has surprises for us. Um, Ubisoft had so much last year, like, Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, uh, Immortals, Phoenix Rising all came out last year. Yeah. We know Roller Champions is probably coming this year uh, at, at some point, probably soon. But it's like we could kind of already know it's a known entity. Yep. There's nothing surprising coming unless it's Microsoft. And Microsoft have a history of the last four years of surprising no, no one. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> so, so totally. it would be really cool. I mean, the only surprises that Microsoft have had have been we've acquired these studios that you love. So, <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, hopefully they have some cool stuff that we see from them soon. Um, but o- otherwise, I can't imagine after this state of play, I can't imagine who's going to be the next one to surprise us. Mm-hmm. There's a Pokemon Direct in the morning, but that's probably just going to be some Pokemon Snap. And, like, I know people want Diamond and Pearl remake, but it's like fucking make a new game. Like, yeah, totally. <laughs> Malum, uh 115 says this will be the year that Cyberpunk ruined. Everything will be delayed because beyond their usual delay to avoid being the next Cyberpunk. And it's so true. I feel like yeah. no one's afraid of delaying now because they're like, look what happens if we try to rush things out quickly. <laughs> no one wants to be that. <laughs> uh, I'm looking at, oh, sorry, go, guys. I was just going to say, can I just add that I'm always baffled by the structure of these things? Like, who sits back at the end of it and watches that? Because they ha- there has to be an approval process and goes, we're happy with how we've put all that together. And I think, if, like, to, to say basically, <laughs> why on earth would you go, we're going to finish on Final Fantasy Remake, which is, that's fine, but then we're going to put the new character, the new story stuff, the things that people should be more excited about before the fact that we're going to say it's also on PS5 with the photo mode and fog. It's like, just switch that up. So the last thing you showed was, oh, by the way, there's a new character and some new stuff you've never experienced before. Yeah, I guess I, I, I'm such a traditionalist that I'm used to there being one announcement 
a year and that being E3. And now that E3 is kind of like falling apart a little bit, it's weird to have these weird drip feeds throughout the year of stuff. Like it feels less impactful to me than to have one big show where they're like, this is the year ahead. Get excited. We've got all these like bajillions of announcements and there's a person there awkwardly on stage, but that's kind of like all part of it. Whereas like this kind of like random sort of collection of trailers with a voiceover feels so like lackluster. Mm. Yeah, I, I also wonder if Square Enix like put their thing together, not knowing where it was going to be <clears> placed <throat> in the, the the lineup of the other trailers, and that's up to Sony to do it. And they're like, well, we want to finish on Final Fantasy. It just so happens that their trailer comes with two parts, and the second part is less exciting than the first. Yeah. So it's like, well, that's how that's how the dice rolls. So it's just weird. I miss the old the days, that- man. I miss the old days. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I personally like the I like the drip feeder content because I think that um. I, like I loved E3 as a like that week was always really exciting, but it was like exciting for that for like two days really, like mm. press conference days, two to three days, and then and then it was just like it was all over, and and you heard about a and and by the by the way that E3 works, you heard about some things way before they were due to come out, even mm. though the drip feed doesn't give you I guess as many highs in condensed. There's still, I like the fact that we get stuff like this spread out so that there's little pepperings throughout the year, I guess. Oh, I like that. I just think it's never curated as well as it used to be when they had to go, okay, we've collectively got everything. Let's structure it in a way that makes that announcement, that state of play exciting to think about. I guess, on. though, oh, I, loved it all. I mean, I, I agree with with that one, but like, I don't know what you would end this on have it, with what they have, thinking about it now, like talking to the base. And the and like Final Fantasy is a base to yeah. um to particularly like a Japanese audience um uh, like I don't know what else in that that tra- that thing they would have ended on that feels I just wouldn't have ended on fog yeah, yeah I guess like I, think- I just would have swapped that around and had the reveal at the end yeah. so, but and I also think as far as like these shows go um like PlayStation have probably the least personality as a brand yeah. of the three big ones. Like yeah. Nintendo have stacks and stacks of it, um, particularly when Reggie <laughs> was around. It's like you end a Nintendo Direct with Reggie saying something to camera and it feels like a complete thought yeah. and you're happy to see Reggie. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. But even micro- without my- Reggie, they've got the they've got the clicking, they've got the like yeah. like the playfulness. It's a very playful show all the time. Totally. Yeah. And and just he- hearing like seeing the developers that you see every time yeah. is like, oh, it's sweet that they can like it feels like a really personal thing. It's sweet address. that they're constantly begging us for forgiveness that they haven't finished the game. <laughs> I'm yet. so sorry, this isn't the new Legend <laughs> yeah. of Zelda. And they're the guys who have really made an effort to do the whole one more thing. Like they love yeah. the tease yeah, definitely. at the yeah, yeah. very right, end. Yeah. So yeah. that is playful, you're right, Pete. And versus and I guess Xbox, yeah. X- Xbox like have Phil Spencer at least. Totally. Like he's got a he's got a great connection with the audience. Um we love hearing from him because he, he's he at least has the the presence of uh, a like a genuine presence. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's nice, it, even for him to wrap up a show like this. He would be like, "That's what we got on the, the plate. We've got heaps more coming up throughout the year." It's that kind of stuff where it's just it's like, actually, yeah. Oh, you're, te- I'll- you're just you're just telling me that everything's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just well, feel like it- we're never gonna have those. Mo- if if E three really goes like fully online, we're never gonna have those moments. You know that come out of it. Those big hype moments. The, the, the your, <laughs> yeah, the your breathtaking moments. Like it just mm, yeah. feels like the end of an era, and I'm so sad because I feel like when I watch something like this state of play, it just feels like I just went onto YouTube and watched a trailer. Mm-hmm. Do you know what they were missing that I really thought they were going to do? The thing where they cut all the trailers again at the end to kind of remind you everything you missed oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I usually yeah. don't that's love, a, but That's I a good bookend. That that's a good yeah. bookend. Would have yeah. been better than, like, Fog, and then we're out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so then the... Um, Maybe uh, the Fog's going to be amazing. Well, <laughs> that's, that's all we'll be talking about. <laughs> it was someone in chat. It might have been Confused Echidna. I'm sorry if I'm attributing it to the wrong person, but they said, we were like, why did it end a Fog? Hey, it was Confused Echidna. <laughs> and they said, Maybe they're just saying the fog is the best part. Um, just, yeah, right. That's why you get it. Uh, okay, so let's go around the horn then and say what was the highlight, I guess, of that. Steph? Keena for me. <clears throat> Petey? Yeah, I mean, uh, Keena or um, Shifu. Corridor Old Man? 
Shit. Yeah. Oracle, old man. <laughs> swack, 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 swack. Fighting game. Totally. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, death loop, death loop the, the 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 set the vinyl. I'm gonna get the vinyl. Death loop ten out of ten. Loop. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would go I would go Kena and and Death Loop. Even though Death Loop, I'm still so scared that it's gonna suck. I'm just like I want to believe, and I feel like the power of our belief, Gus, will will get you we'll see manifestation. Not, not yep. to finish on shitting on something, but Kena looks wonderful. The combat looks a little challenging, but I think overall that story of just a fantasy world being reclaimed could fall uh, flat by like you're a Nintendo fanboy. Like that is every Nintendo story, uh, which is why I'm exhausted of it. Yeah, right. I think it's <laughs> gonna be beautiful, and I think it's gonna be a good bridging game for like you know yes. younger game is getting yeah, into yeah, yeah. like you know more adult games i think it's i think yeah. that's a, a really important like market to develop for and i love yeah, that i agree with that yeah it's the uh, it's the next generation's cameo elements of power <laughs> it's wow. not there to cater for 35 year olds going like hey you still enjoying fantasy worlds we'll make sure you are i mean it's true it's, it's kind of like i give that game to banjo in a couple of years and he plays it and when he finishes i'm like all right now here is dark souls <laughs> I'm gonna be like, and now here's paradise killer he's like daddy i don't want to play it every time <laughs> yeah. he was sitting Just he was sitting with it. me uh playing so he was sitting on my lap while i was playing persona and uh and we were we got a point where we're in a van and like they're all just talking and there's like five minutes of talking and they're just, just sitting in my lap eating a sandwich and then he just stops and looks up at me he goes dad up what is this <laughs> and i was like you should be on back pocket <laughs> totally. uh all right is cool <laughs> Uh, no. That is the state of play. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming and hanging out. That was a fun way to experience this. Nice and early. Yeah, Thanks, so, everyone. Right? Yeah, Gus nearly didn't make it. It was so early. <laughs> 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 uh, Peter, Peter got up early this morning and like all the animals got up and left uh, our bed so that he could go and feed them and then they all just came back to bed with me <laughs> Peter <laughs> opened the door and it was like the cat and the dog and everyone had just crawled back into bed with me <laughs> I was like I, I put, poked my head in we're live in an hour uh, we're live in 45 minutes uh <laughs> We're live in half an hour. Can I open the curtains? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then it makes it so much harder when Scotty snuggles in and she's so yeah. warm and fluffy. <laughs> uh, Gilsey says, all I want to say is I got up early just for fog. Uh, and Damn I think right. that's where we can leave it. Um, cool. All right. Thanks very much for Steph's watching, everybody. Steph's already on. <laughs> uh, we'll be back uh, some other time. Yeah. Yep. Pocket watches, playbacks, all that stuff's coming out. Yeah. Stick oh, yeah, it's WandaVision tonight. How exciting. Ooh. <gasps> I forgot. Back in the day. Bye. 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 Bye.